so hello students uh, this is uh, sst class and now we will continue with the french revolution that was um, is that had been continuing okay uh, since last week there we had learned about the events you might have uh, remember that let me share the screen with you all okay see can you see the screen now Yes, Are you able to see the screen now? Okay, now see. We had seen the main events. I had told you about the movie flashback. See why? Why? Uh, why the makers of the movie or the film actually they show you the last scene first, and in that uh, tone, uh, tone only. We had started that from uh, from the beginning, right? From seventeen seventy four. uh to 1946 this was the actually period where the revolution took place uh in france okay right from the king louis 16 till napoleon bonaparte and after that how women got their right to vote in france okay they had to wait a lot means means a lot of time it took to be rewarded or award not awarded or rewarded but given the right to vote to women there in france okay so that after that we had seen causes of the revolution what was the what were the causes actually the reason behind the scene okay and we had seen their storming of bastille what happened there in bastille that also we had seen okay why did people uh, storm in to the prison so okay uh i will uh, do it later on beta your name will be changed afterwards okay let me continue with the class now okay so what happened there what happened to the government official buildings what happened to the arms and how did people uh fail prey upon the rumor what was the rumor that the what was the rumor the monarch or the king was about to attack the people who were demonstrating peacefully on the street against the policies of the king or policies by the king okay that is why and that was the reason behind it okay but people took it wrong and they thought that he would attack upon them and that is why they also became aggressive and they started to vandalize the government official buildings and all okay after that we had seen what was the situation of the french society there in the uh in what in the late 18th century in france are you getting my voice there am i clear to you all yes sir okay now listen to me very carefully if you have any doubt so you may ask me immediately there okay so french society now french society in the 18th century was something very difficult to lead okay why it was very difficult to lead actually due to some wars with america and others okay lots of money was spent okay of france and when king louis 16 became the emperor of that uh, french or uh, sorry france so the treasury was totally empty and that is why he Im imposed the taxes upon the common people leaving the clergy in the in the sense first state and second state okay nobles and cl clergy were exempted from the taxes they were not levied the taxes by the king but the common people who were belonging to business class who were belonging to law means professionals who were belonging to laborers landless or homeless people okay they had to pay the taxes okay and that is why they became the third state actually became dis discontented or disappointed with the king and that is why it 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 formed the the constitution the 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 raw frame of constitution was framed by the third state understood and they wanted that the monarchy should be abolished okay by that after that we had seen the struggle of to survival what was the struggle to survival actually in france due to the war situation most of the grains were spent most of the money was spent and that is why the commodity the prices of commodities were high okay they were high are you getting my point Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, due to that, the important or essential food grains, 
they had hiked in prices okay then what happened the people who used to hold those grains with them hold do you know hold hold means to uh, what we can say hold means to collect illegally to collect illegally there are you getting my point okay yes sir and these people became rich there afterwards when when the commodities prices were high as people reluctantly they they had to purchase or buy the commodities at the higher prices so the poor person he became poor and the rich person became rich there okay so, and this gap was widened this gap was widened between the rich and the poor have you got and this is something called as subsistence crisis what do we call it as subsistence crisis are you getting the point now i have connected you with the total i have connected you with the total scenario what we have done there in the last class okay understood are you getting the point now listen to it now yes, let's sir. hear how a subsistence crisis happens see on page number 6 there on your book okay in your book bad harvest after that blank is given blank is given the protest uh, sorry the poorest can no longer buy bread then two regions were there and after that distance epidemic uh, disease epidemics and all okay all these things were related to each other are you getting a point okay so there a middle growing uh, a growing middle class actually envisages an end to privileges who were the middle class who were the middle third class third estate ha huh? third estate third estate very good okay these people were the middle class people and they wanted to abolish or to end the privileges now indirectly who were those means the privileges were uh, given to whom the first state those were clergies and second state those were nobles are you getting my point okay so this third state wanted to abolish the uh, privileges given to the first and second state now try to understand these points how a social group termed as the middle class emerged in the 18th century increasing overseas trade and expanding wool trade brought money to this class they formed the more prosperous and educated section of the third state now see what happened there people those who were belonging to middle class they revolted against the increasing taxes there you might have known this okay they actually revolted against the king as the king has had imposed the taxes okay at the higher rate but actually what happened they had nothing to bring the changes into the society due to their status in the society due to what status in the society now what was the status which kind of status two status were there social and economic or economic status okay these two status they were not given now what did they do they started to do the business overseas overseas mean the sense they were not doing the business there in the state in the sense they are in the country of france but they were doing that trade uh with the other countries that overseas countries okay which were beyond the seas okay and from there they were getting money and they became and they put themselves into the education sector okay they wanted to have the literacy among themselves okay are you getting 
okay yes sir and this kind of overseas trade and expanding old trade they were able to take education with money okay they were paying for education and they were getting education they became literate they became literate as well as due to the expanding of uh, expanded trades they became prosperous as well what does mean the prosperous prosperous in the sense flourished okay they became rich are you getting the point now what happened there in the 18th century what is the third point there in addition to merchants and manufacturers the third state included professionals such as lawyers or administrative officials they believed that no group in society should be privileged by birth this was what was there it was their demand as they thought that every person on this planet has taken birth or is been born biologically okay and most of the people were working for the state and they were paying the taxes to the state or the nation but some were there by birth they had some privileges that they were not levied by the taxes by the king or monarch as they were eating by sitting over there only they were sitting and eating only they were taking the disadvantage of having the first and second state people okay or the ancestral things they were getting from there okay so what happened there this social group in the 18th century what did it do it it became the educated uh, educated group of the people okay who actually earned a lot of money okay by doing the trade over there and even their members of the society members of the society in this is the third state members they had become rich due to this okay now to this group who were included there the manufacturer merchants those who were involved in the trades manufacturers those who were actually manufacturing the clothes and all other things okay uh, from wool and the third state included again the professionals professionals like uh, lawyers okay and administrative officials they were also joined to the group okay they had the belief that there should be no privilege given by uh, given to the particular people by birth okay and if suppose they wanted if suppose the the privileges were to be given to the people so they must be depending upon the merits or their characteristics okay upon these two things they should be given the privileges understood now what happened then the idea of getting these things or uh, spreading these things in the society this was okay this had become more demanding due to the freedom and equal laws okay and opportunities for all this was the first demand all over the world that every people should have freedom should have equal law for all and the opportunity should be given to everyone now see these things are also involved in our preamble do you know our preamble we the people of india yeah have you read yeah. ever have you read ever huh have you read ever yes sir there these things are mentioned that every citizen of india should get the freedom equality opportunity understood opportunity in the sense they are in the government jobs and employment nobody should be discriminated on the basis of the religion caste category gender color okay or be, based on the race or races are you getting my point okay these things are taken from that revolution i would like to tell you this thing okay so due to this they became educated and they wanted to have freedom liberty uh, equal laws for all the opportunity should be given to okay 
understood are you getting the point these demands were made by the third stage are you getting the point okay yes, now what is there yes, what is there the ideology of the philosophers now some philosophers also put their views upon these ideologies okay what kind of ideologies were given there see the first point the middle class wanted political freedom for itself and was sympathetic to the cause of the peasants what wanted the middle class middle class wanted that political freedom should be or for itself yes and was sympathetic to the cause of the peasant means they were actually eager to bring the justice to the peasants eager to bring the justice to whom to the peasants as they were the ultimate people or the, the the citizens that they were toiling toiling in the sense toil means toil means to work very hard toiling okay. toil okay uh, for example if you are saying that he is toiling for the upsc examinations okay so means he is working since morning or he is studying since morning till bed time okay like this you may consider the example okay so middle class wanted to have the political freedom okay it means they wanted to have the participation into the election process are you getting a point through this they wanted to have their participation into the where participation into elections the elections understood now the ideology was given like enlightenment philosophers like john locke uh jean jacques rousseau uh oltaire and montes were instrumental in influencing the rising educated middle class instrumental means they were about to do something different from others means they propose that the government should be based on the will of the citizens yes sir okay they criticize the doctrine of the divine and absolute right of the monarch absolute right in the sense the rights which were raised with the monarch and not with the people they criticize the doctrine of the divine doctrine of the divine is what whatever the statement was given by the divine like means whatever the monarch would be given the statement that would become the divine statement in the sense god's statement that they wanted to abolish are you getting the point now what what does it mean this point yes sir okay and for this montes what did he uh, what 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 kind of uh, what, what kind of government he wanted be there uh, to be there in france he wanted that there should be the government between the legislative executive and the judiciary this model of government was put into force in the usa after the 13 colonies declared their independence from britain it is written in your book okay in also in india these three organs these are called the organs of the government three organs of the government legislative executive and judiciary and these three organs three of the organs they are independent to what specially the judiciary that is very independent it does not work under any pressure even if it is appointed by the government after the appointment the government cannot interfere into the work of the judiciary it has to abide by the rules and regulations laws are you getting my point okay yes sir yeah so 
the idea of these philosophers were discussed intensively in solos let it be go let it go okay it doesn't matter over there now the cause the course of the french revolution what happened there now till this we have seen that what what kind of what, what was the subsistence crisis okay why people were fighting each other and after that what middle class wanted to have the society to be like okay and after that we we saw that what what kind of government the philosophers they put their ideologies there what kind of government should be there in the society okay or in the country have you got it okay these three things we have seen now what is the course of the french revolution how the revolution was broken out or outbreak okay understood that we are going to study now the assembly of the state general what happened there what was the course of the french revolution what happened there see look into your book what happened king louis actually increased the taxes for reason we have learned about it okay why why were the taxes increase because the treasury was totally empty okay after his oath and after that the old regime in the old regime of france the monarch did not have the power to impose taxes according to his will alone rather he had to call a meeting of the state general which would then pass his proposals for new taxes the estates general was a political body to which the three states sent their representative however the monarch alone could divide or oh sorry decide when to call a meeting of this body the last time it was done was in 1614 now see why is it very important to understand what was the reason behind it? what was the scene behind it before king louis 16 the kings or the monarchs were there they had no right to impose the taxes directly upon the citizens he had to take the permission or take the uh, proposals okay from the body which was made over there understood and those bodies were made from all the states first second and third but when king louis 16 became the king or the emperor he himself imposed the taxes over there okay then what happened on 5th may 1789 louis 16 called an assembly of the state general to pass the proposal for new taxes earlier it was last time was called in 1614 okay near about 200 years near about 200 year, or 180 years after the, this general assembly was called by the king the assembly which was organized with the intention of resolving the financial crisis instead became the spark to the few see it is called as the spark to the few actually he wanted to have a discussion about the financial crisis which were prevailed there in the country but his decision of increasing the taxes actually became the spark to the fuel in the sense the people became furious that they thought with the rumor that the taxes were increased a lot okay this was the rumor over there then what happened it was to place in versailles where versailles are you getting a point okay this is a place over there and prepared to host the delegates the first and second state sent now there the representatives were sent by all these states are you getting shreyashi ha ah, try to understand yes, it is yes, very sir. important point important topic that we are studying here the state general was a political body what was the state general the political body to which the three states sent their representatives the first and the second state sent 300 representative each now first 300 and second 300 equals to 600 representatives were sent to the assembly okay how many 600 representatives were sent to the assembly who were seated in the rows facing each other on two sides now for example this is the hall and this is the president is sitting here this one row this one row they are sitting facing each other the first 
and second state now what happened to the third while the 600 members of the third state now see alone this is first this is second so 600 members were included there now alone third state they sent 600 representatives okay members of the third state had to stand at the back some were standing here and some were standing here but they were also facing each other this is something now what is the need to tell this see even this is a very small thing that if they are sitting or standing doesn't matter isn't it but why is it told over here it is told because it won't it mean the book or the ncrt wanted to tell us or wants to tell us that what was the position of those people belonging to third state they had no value they had no value for example you are attending some function and limited members are the called over. They, were stand, sir, they didn't get any value about their things so i'm just telling the example listen to me if you are, you are attending some function there on, limited people are called over there okay but some are asked to sit but some are not sitting they are standing but even if they are even though they are not called by anyone to sit or request to sit in okay so you may consider the value of the person understood are you getting a point now what happened the third state was represented by its more prosperous and educated members actually these 600 members were educated as well as rich in short you may say they were rich okay and peasants artisans and women were denied entry to the assembly however their grievances and demands were listed in some 40000 letters which the representatives had brought with them here those people belonging to third state the peasants artisans and women were not called over there okay they were not invited but their demands their problems their grievances these those who were attending the assembly they had brought with them okay by listing the problems or grievances are you getting a point yes okay. sir yes this is something over there now it is the time to vote what happened there see there the third point until then voting in the states general had been conducting according to the principle that each state had one vote see each state had one vote but members of the third state demanded that voting be conducted by the assembly as a whole where each member would have one vote now what would i have done here this one vote this one vote the another side so there would be two votes i am telling you in general way there would be two votes and from from the third state there would be only one vote so who will be winning the election those who are getting two votes those who are in majority are you getting the point okay yes sir yes sir now this time to louis 16 was determined to continue the same practice but members of the third state demanded that voting now be done on the basis of one person one vote each member should have one vote one value okay and assembly as a whole where each member would have one vote this was one of the democratic principles put forward by philosophers like uh, Rousseau in his book, The Social Contract. Okay, what is the name of the book? The Social Contract, uh, where he put his ideology that every it, it is the essence of the democratic society that every person must have the one value, one vote. Okay, one vote, one value. Are you getting? my point when the king rejected this proposal but what happened the king rejected the proposal member of the third state walked out of the assembly in protest 
after rejection of their demands at the assembly of state the third state decided to take matters into their hands now they wanted to have the changes in the Fr french society and they became their own boss they became their own constitution maker okay the framers of the constitution that how the society we run in the country okay this they wanted to have in their hands and that what happened there in versailles the tennis court oath it is known as the tennis court oath understood what happened there then the representatives of the third state actually uh, themselves as spokesmen for the whole french nation then on 20th june they assembled in the hall of uh, an indoor tennis court in the grounds of versailles this was done there in versailles on 20th june 1789 the third state assembly at an indoor tennis court in the grounds of versailles they collected or they just come together there okay to take the oath what kind of oath they declared themselves a na national assembly and vowed to draft a constitution for france that would limit the power of the monarch that what happened there you might have learnt in your 8th standard about nepal the constitution first chapter is given there in political science you might have known this do you remember that the first chapter of 8th yes. standard yeah. in political science the indian constitution there yes. you might have learnt about the, the the constitution which was framed there in nepal how the people protested against the monarch and monarchy have you got so that that concept was also came there uh, sorry come there from france okay from france in the sense on the basis of french revolution now the members they wanted to frame the or uh, to draft the constitution okay that would limit the powers of the king third thing is they were led by mirabeau a noble and abi says a priest priest means the person actually he works in the churches or somewhere else okay where his work is to guide the people okay to give the correct way to show the correct way understood so mirabeau was a noble he was a noble noble means the literate person the literate one okay he guided the third state people the tennis court oath was taken and signed by all 577 representatives of the third state now all together how many members were there 600 among them 577 people or members they took oath what kind of oath they took ha huh? tennis court oath yeah they declared themselves as a national assembly and set their goal to form a constitution that would resist the power of the monarchy and sought to assert people's sovereignty what is people's sovereignty that the rule would be by the people not by the king means why they wanted to frame the constitution there because they wanted to have the proper guidelines proper rules and regulations through which the people would survive there in the country that is what it is called as constitution constitutionally in the sense by legal way it was framed are you getting a point this kind of oath was taken there so people were busy there in versailles okay drafting the constitution now what happened a severe winter had meant a bad harvest see social and economic crisis how did they come there okay how did they occur over there while the national assembly was busy at versailles versailles drafting a constitution the rest of france was in crisis what kind of crisis 
food crisis. After the winter season in France, it is severe drought over there and it was a bad harvest due to which the prices of the bread were hiked and the breakers they hold it supplies and raise prices of bread for making greater profit i told you hold means what to keep illegally to collect illegally they were waiting to hike the prices to be hiked the prices and at that time they would sell those breads into the market and people would have to pay more money for that are you getting my point and in this way they wanted to become rich are you getting yes sir you getting all ha huh. after spending hours in long queues at the bakery crowds of angry women and stormed into the sh shops now it was actually unreasonable and uh, we may say that it was not a compromising thing there or in, it was not compromised there by the purchasers or the buyers especially in the queue the women were standing they were waiting for their turn but the baker no, means the bakers or the manufacturers of baker they were not ready to sell their um, breads okay at the lower cost and they stopped the supplies and due to this the women became angry stormed into the shop at the same time what happened the king ordered troops to move into paris at the same time what happened the king ordered troops to move into paris on 14th july the agitated what this mean by agitated angry okay crowd stormed and destroyed the bastille with the storming of the bastille the revolution reached it friends so can you pronounce that angry thing once again what this agitated acha agitated okay agitated okay so in this way people became furious they became very disappointed with the king and they just broke into the uh, into the bastille and they stormed bastille and the revolution started from here that is why it is said that the french revolution was really started from 14th of july 1789 what happened there we have seen what happened there even the low state in the sense that third state women those who were in the queue and standing in the queue and the other people they became very furious why those taxes were imposed the prices of the breads were high even people were ready to purchase the high price breads even the hoardings was done over there in the sense the people were hoarding those breads and they were uh, waiting for increase into the price okay so all these things made it uh, made the people to become the revolutionary people okay they they became the rebel there understood all this suppression made it for the people to become the rebel and they just broke out into the revolution are you getting the point yes sir now upsurge of revolutionary zeal zeal in the sense enthusiasm enthusiastic people very excited people you may say in other words have you got it yes sir now what happened in the countryside rumors spread from village to village that the lords of the manor lords of the manor manor means what uh it is a kind of residence it is a kind of residence another work is, uh, word is also given chatox that is also the castle castle means mahal 
okay which is made for the king what happened there had hired band bands of br brigands who were on their way to destroy the ripe crops caught in a frenzy or fear peas of fear peasants in several districts seized hoes and pitchforks and attacked chattoks they looted hoarded grain and burned down documents containing records of manorial dues see how people involved indirectly into the revolution it was a rumor that some rumors of an implement uh, impending conspiracy by the lords of the manor to destroy the ripe crops led to the great fear of july 18 uh, sorry 1789 means peasants became fearful they they were afraid of destroying the ripe crops by the manor lords okay and at any cost the peasants they did not want to be destroyed their crops by them and that is why caught in fear peasants in several districts attacked chatoks chatoks means what the mansion okay the mansion or we may say the castle okay which is the place where the king is used to live they looted hoarded grain there and burned down documents containing records of manorial due manorial due in the sense uh, some kind of uh, loan were uh, loans were given to the peasants and the documents were kept very safely those were also burned out set to the fire okay faced with fear revolutionaries now what happened to the king king actually fled again where louis 16 finally gave recognition to the national assembly and accepted the principle that his powers would be checked by the constitution now louis 16 finally he finally he agreed to the constitutional framework by the people as he agreed to the point that whatever the constitution would bring the abolition to his powers okay those powers who were working one way okay all the powers were in the favor of the king or monarch those would be abolished and his powers would be checked by the constitution okay on the night of then what happened there the national assembly renamed itself on 9th july 1789 as national constitutional assembly on 4th august 1789 the assembly passed an order abolishing the fed, uh, feudal system of obligations and taxes feudal system means the system which is run totally by the government but here the government was considered as the monarch okay monarch was the government at that time the assembly passed a decree abolishing the feudal system of obligations and taxes members of the clergy too were forced to give up their privileges what happened here clergies the first estate they had to give up their privileges means now onwards they would not get any kind of privileges there okay they would not get one tenth part of the agricultural produced by the peasants okay even they were not be given the taxes okay to the churches okay and now those clergies had to work titis were abolished and lands owned by the church were confiscated confiscated means to take into the custody okay used property was acquired by the new government now what kind of government was there the constitutional government now monarchy was what, what happened to the monarchy it was abolished and constitutional government was established are you getting my point this is something where the people became very enthusiastic to impose the constitutional government in the society of france and 
they were very happy to make that framework of constitutional where many of the uh, what we can say rights were imposed okay rights were implied in the society where people were happy with them okay now france becomes a constitutional monarchy now again it has the constitutional framework but still it was the monarchy but still it was the monarchy okay how now on page number 10 you may see the figure number 7 can you see there am i audible to all yes sir yes sir can you see there yes sir the picture yes, sir. Yes, sir. given on page number 10 judiciary yes, sir. executive and legislature how are they connected to each other how the votes are being uh, distributed there now the assembly national assembly it is called as completed the draft of the constitution in 19 uh, sorry 1791 its main objective was to limit the powers of the monarch see now people had framed the constitution for their country and now it wanted to abolish the powers of the monarch okay it wanted not fully abolition but limits the powers were separated and assigned to different institutions like legislature executive and judiciary this made france a constitutional monarchy now what is mean by legislature what is mean by executive and what is mean by judiciary what is mean by legislature legislature means the representatives executives means who those who impose the or we may say representatives here and even these people can be considered as the lawmakers these executives were the people who were imposing the laws in the society and judiciary they were looking after the law and order in the society are you getting the point now this constitution was separate i mean had separated the powers okay among these three organs of the government as it is also privileged there in the in our society are you getting my point okay our society also in our government also these three organs are working properly okay features of the constitution what was the what were the features that was imposed there the constitution of 1791 gave powers to the national constitution assembly which was indirectly elected by the citizens actually what the proper way of constitutional framework was to vote and to elect their representatives but here indirectly the people were the representatives of their country okay not all citizens however had the right to vote only men about 25 years see it is very very important huh? it is asked in the exam only men about 25 years of age who paid taxes even 25 years then taxes okay equal to at least a laborer's wage for three days were given the status of active citizens that is they were entitled to vote those who were 25 years of age and they were paying the taxes and their taxes must be equal to the three days wages of the labor okay those who were entitled for the vote the rest of the men and all women were considered as passive citizens who had no voting rights. They were the passive citizens. Those who do not vote or do not go for vote, they are called the passive citizens. A unique features of the 19, uh, 1791 constitution was the adoption of the declaration of the rights to uh, rights of man and citizen. Okay. What was the important feature of the constitution? most of the privileges and most of the rights were given to man okay rights such as the right of right to life freedom of speech freedom of opinion equality before law were established as natural and 
inalienable rights means nobody can snatch these rights from you that is called inalienable it was the duty of the state to protect each citizens natural rights these were called the natural rights freedom of speech right to life opinion law equality before law okay and they cannot be snatched by anyone from you in the sense from the people and it was the duty of the state state in the sense what the nation okay and its government to take care after the natural rights are you getting my point yes or no please turn on your video yes sir please turn on your videos yes sir huh In this way, we have completed till now. The rest of the things I will be taking in the next class. Okay. Till that time, thank you very much for joining the class. And now you may leave the class now. Okay. Please read the chapter at home. Yes, sir. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye. 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 Have a nice day. Have a nice time. Good night.